Just a quick discussion about a 3G swap on a 4.9 liter 300 cubic inch Ford. Here is the old 2G alternator. Notice the uh, uh, the mounting tabs that are not 180 degrees apart. Here is the new 3G alternator. The old 2G has uh, two plugs. I'm not going to reuse it. I'm not going to reuse any of that old harness except for green wire. Here's the new uh, 3G. I used the factory wire that came off the donor vehicle. It's got a fusible link on it. Now, you can go to paperformance.com and order a 200 amp 4 gauged setup on there, which is real nice. Uh, it's a it's a wire with a built-in fuse, but I took the uh, off the original car with the fusible link and I just extended the wire. Then you're going to take the yellow wire, you're going to put a terminal end on it, Route it around, put it back on that post. This is your key on power, okay? And that's gonna go to the green wire that's already on your truck that looks just like it, green with a black wire, a black stripe, okay? This end just goes to the positive poise, post of the uh, solenoid, starter solenoid, I'll show you. Okay. Uh, I've heard on some vehicles you have to unbolt the radiator and the shroud and push it aside out of the way. Didn't have to do that. But then again, it doesn't look like I have much of a shroud. I've only had this truck a month or two. I'm not too familiar with it. Now here is the original bracket. It's kind of a funky beast. I don't know what this is. Some kind of additional ground wire by the previous owner. Okay. Now this is where the alternator bolts on. Notice it's got different mounting positions here and here. Which, uh, which would be for the original setup. Uh, in our situation, we're using a 3.0 Taurus 3G alternator. And they also came on 94, 95 V8 Mustangs, and I believe 94 and up V6 Mustangs these alternators came on. It's the smaller one, not the bigger one with the big ears that came on the 3.8 Mustang. Anyhow, we're going to want to mount it here, okay, and 180 degrees, which uh, I believe is that one right there, okay? And uh, it'll mount right up. This is the uh, the old harness. Here's the wire. That's going to be your key on, green with black stripe. We're going to cut. I'm going to tap into that, reuse that. You can actually trace that wire all the way back. And we're going to put uh, our fusible link wire off the alternator right here onto the positive post of the starter relay switch. That's it. So when I'm all finished... I'll post back up again. Okay, I'm done. Two noteworthy uh, things. Wrong alternator. I got it on there with the bottom bolt on the very uh, the very bottom left bolt. There's nothing holding it on top except that it's really tight on the bottom bolt, so it's secure. Uh, and the belt was a tight fit, although the original belt did go back on. Now. Um, Ideally, you're going to want the uh, bigger one, like the alternator out of the 3.8 Taurus from the late 80s, early 90s. That's the one you want. This smaller one does not fit right. However, I've got everything wired up, like I said. I tied the green wire. i got to finish connecting that into the green wire from here. Okay, and then that is the wire that I spliced going to the post on the back of the alternator. And that was it. I've got the headlights on, and I've got the uh, the vent on all the way. Basically, the only accessories this thing has, and it's still putting 14.3 out at idle. Fantastic. So, I guess I'll have to search for the right uh, alternator, but I think this one's going to hold me for now.